This is section 3.2. This is part three. We have been calculating intercepts and using those to graph. So let's graph this line. Negative 3x uh, plus y is equal to negative 6. So we need to plug in zeros first. So let's say x is 0. That would give me negative 3 times 0 plus y is equal to negative 6. Well, negative 3 times 0 goes away. So I end up with y equal to negative 6. So that means I need to plot the point 0, negative 6. Go to 0 on your x-axis, negative 6 on your y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that should be the point right there. Okay. Now let's take y equal to 0. That gives me negative 3x plus 0 is equal to negative 6. Of course, the plus 0 goes away. I have a negative 3x equal to negative 6. Let's divide both sides by a negative 3. And we get x is equal to positive 2. So that means I also have the point 2, 0. Go to 2 on the x, 0 on the y. So that should be that point right there. If you're confident with these two, go ahead and draw your line. And you can be done. Two points is sufficient. It looks like my line goes through negative 1, um, positive 1, negative 3, right? It looks like that. I can use that to check. It'd be just like saying, okay, well, if I plug in x equal 1, what do I get? It looks like my line goes through there, so let's try it. Let's check that. Negative 3 times 1 plus negative 3 equals negative 6. Negative 3 plus negative 3 equals negative 6. So that is correct. So you have some options. If you're confident with your two lines, just graph them and you're done. If you aren't quite so sure, you could either pick another number and plug it in and find a third point. Or you can look at your graph and say, well, it looks like it passes through this point. Let me double check that. It all works. Okay, so let's look at a special case of uh, trying to graph with intercepts. I'm just going to calculate my intercepts. I don't notice anything weird about this. Let's say x is 0. Okay, well, if x is 0, I have 2x plus three, uh, 2 times 0. Sorry, I lost my head there for a second. I went on vacation. 2 times 0 plus 3y is equal to 0. That's supposed to be a 0 right there. Okay, 2 times 0 goes away. So I have 3y equal to 0. Now I need to divide both sides by a 3. And I am allowed to divide 0 by 3, but I get that y equals 0 which means I have the point zero, 0, which is the origin. Great. Except now when I go to find the other intercept, it's not going to get me much. Let's look at it. I just plugged in 0 for y. That point goes away. So I have 2x equals 0. Divide both sides by a 2, and you get x equals 0, which is precisely the same point as that. So I have technically two intercepts. It just happens that my x-intercept is the same as my y-intercept. And you cannot draw a line through one point. You need minimum two points. In this case, you must pick some other number to plug in, okay? So I, I don't know, let's just say, um, let's just say x is three. I don't know why I picked that, I just did. All right, so two times three plus three times y is equal to zero. That gives me six plus three y is equal to zero. 
I need to move the six away, so I subtract six from both sides. 3y is equal to negative 6. Divide both sides by a positive 3, and you get that y equals negative 2. So that means I have a second point at 3, negative 2. It's very easy to mix up these if, by not thinking. Double check yourself, slow yourself down. Did I write the x first and then the y? Okay. I want to plot this point. I go to 3 on the x, negative 2 on the y. They line up right here. So the answer to this equation would be this line right here. Okay.